Well, hello there, YouTube, and welcome to a 45 degree Monday, the 20th of February. Looks like it's going to be a little damp today. Everything is damp now. Hasn't been raining. It's just everything's wet. I don't know if it's fog mist, little intermittent rains that I missed, but it is what it is. It feels comfortable out here. Just not real shiny. Who cares? Well, anyway. Let's start off in a new week. I don't mind. Well, Mama, Listen. it wasn't wasn't pretty, but it was just light mist here and there. Mm -hmm. It wasn't bad. No, it wasn't bad at all. You not, know? not too many crazy people. Actually, it was pretty much none. Yeah. Some people just kind of tailgating a little bit, trying to push you mm -hmm. when you're flying well over the speed limit. They still, you're yeah. not going fast enough. <laughs> you go for it. Then. Yeah. Mama, that yes. Monday done reached back around and got us again. She did. She snuck right back. That son of a gun. I know. <laughs> All right. Ready to go in and tackle it? I'm ready. Good, bad, or indifferent? Yep. All right. Let's get her done, Mama. All right. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. Bye. Well, we left early today, and we got home safe and sound. Of course, now that we're home... It's starting to get all rainy out here. So, because I didn't record anything, I was doing like BMW training stuff. There was really nothing to record. And Kelly goes, what are you doing? I said, just training stuff. I was messing around. I was flashing that GSA from uh, from Friday there. She goes, you want to go home early? And I said, um, it wouldn't be hard to talk me into doing something like that. You want to? She goes, let's do it. I said, all right. So we bailed out. So because it's still daylight out here, I figured we'd take the old TRX4 Sport for a ride. One of the things I did today is I ordered the light kit for the K10. I was messing around with that um, Bronco. I thought, you know what? That K10 needs a lighting kit. So... I do a little search to, you know, see what people, what they look like and how people get along with it. And I come across this one dude that, yeah, he did not have a good time with that. Two things, he it looks like he just didn't, didn't read what he was getting close enough and apparently had a hard time reading instructions because he did not have a good time, <laughs> a good time with that thing. And what's sad, you know, is we run into this with people and with motorcycles and stuff too, is well it's the manufacturer's fault, it's the dealer's fault and you know, I'll never buy another Honda for the rest of my days kind of a thing, you know. And uh, yeah, every complaint that was going on there and going, Yeah, that's clearly in the instructions and before you ordered that it says you need this, that and whatever. And the crazy thing is there's one kit, there's one part number that gets you the entire kit, everything you need to make the headlights, taillights, and all that stuff work. And then, you know, certain things weren't working, and it's it's in the instructions how it all works. I know we all get in a rush and want to get our fancy lights a-flashing on our trucks and cars and whatever else, but... Um, yeah, you got to spend some time reading the destructions as well. <laughs> I figured you'd take this old gal out. But, you know, one of the pains of... It's not that it's a pain, it's just it's there. And it's like almost an unnecessary thing. But, you know, when you take the cover off, the lighting kit is attached. So, I mean, you got to take the cover off a certain way. And then, you know, certain things come on by default, you know, so you, you you definitely need to have the Bluetooth dongle in your uh, TQI controller. And if you have one of these, every you can put, get a lighting kit for this, too, but because it's the kind of the dumbed-down controller, yeah, there's some grinding going on. Um, the settings and stuff are a little different. But, you know, you can control all that from the Pro Scale Lighting Module. And I've looked at this thing before, because it's pretty much the same kit as what the uh, Blazer has. 
but they've added an X to the part number, so it has changed over time. So you want to get the 80, I think it's the 8038X. And there's everything. And then, um, you know, with the, uh, uh, what they call the rock lights that go in the fender wells, you know, I put those on the, I don't think I even talked to you guys about that, but anyway, I put them on the Bronco, and um, there's certain ports you plug in. Of course, I do the same thing. You know, I look at other other people's reviews and stuff like that, and people are literally plugging them into the wrong ports. When the instructions tell you, I mean, it couldn't be more clear. It tells you where to plug the rock lights into. In fact, you know, the the part of that pro scale uh, deal is um, it it's it works as a regulator too. See one dude literally turning it into the receiver. That's too much. I think that's too much voltage. They're nice and bright, and uh, when you plug them into the correct port, they uh, they look really good. Although I gotta say, for whatever reason, it does not look this way at all in person when you're staring at them. I can't turn four wheel drive. Whoa. Can't turn four wheel drive off on this thing, so it turns a little a little janky, but that's alright. It's a TRX TRX4 Sport. She's just a base model. No frills, no thrills. But the first thing I had to do is definitely get the hobby wing motor. And then I was gonna I was gonna do a speed control or a servo. Because this thing's, you know, the lightest of the bunch. And um, the servo doesn't really have any problems. But the thing sings, you know, it's a brushed servo. And this one's just like, look, you don't hear no servo singing. You don't hear no brushed motor whining. And don't get me wrong, this is not something you have to do. It just makes it so much more pleasing. And if you're recording... Your, your rides and your picking up vehicle sounds along with your recordings, it is some kind of annoying when you're editing your video and you hear that singing sound. Now, if you have older ears, that's usually a frequency you, you lose right away. <laughs> so you probably don't hear it anyway, but I don't know. Just piddly things like that just annoy me, especially in this modern day age. You know, and then you get people go, why don't they put the a motor like that in it, you know, from the factory? Well, it's kind of like, you know, people complain about the dirt tires that Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, Suzuki, KTM, every, the choice of tires they put on from the factory. Well, what do you do when you buy a, a dirt bike or whatever? First thing you do is put your personal, it depends on what type of riding, wet, loomy, dry, rocky, you know, people are going to change them right away anyway. Oh, what do we got? Oh, that's about the same. We got stuck here a little bit, didn't we? So it's kind of the same thing. People are going to use what they like. And motors and servos and stuff like that. You know, everybody has their, like, their favorite stuff. You know, things they like to use. Is it going to grab? Look at that. Oh, I wasn't even... Pointing the camera in the right place. This is the funnest one to just. You know, whoa! <laughs> you just grab it and go. She's my little gal. Kelly likes it too. She doesn't like a. You know, I'm telling her, well, I said switch the servos off and it'll it'll steer a lot better. And she goes, I. I'll just drive the sport. I don't have to worry about low gear, high gear. There's only one gear. It's always in four wheel drive. Is she gonna fall? What you gonna do here, huh? It's not quiet that hobby wing motor is. She's just so pleasing. And overall, for the the best, just all around, you're not goofing around, just leave the stock tires and wheels on there. 
I do the I literally do what I tell people. Don't mess with that stuff. Now the motors and stuff, I speed controllers and brushless motors, man, that just makes it so much more pleasing. And if you're actually doing rock crawling, which you know, I haven't gotta wait till nicer weather so we can go places and find some of these good places. Definitely have a spot Kelly and I have been talking about. She wants to go there. I want to go there. But, um, yeah, it'd be a mud fest down there right now. But anyway. So I just whiz you guys out here. So I have something in my vlog. And when you got nothing better to do, why not record an RC car? <laughs> you lovely little RC car. You're so much fun. I'm trying not to... Got to remember that the board's nice and wide down there, but not so much once you get to the 2 by 12 well, Come on up here and show the peeps how you come up the hill. The only thing that makes noise on these things now is the the drivetrain and the... Whoa! I like literally steered backwards. And then you, you put the K10 and the Bronco in the low gear and it's got that grind, granny whine. It's kind of cool. She just wong, 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 wong. All right, I'm about to trip over something down here. Come on down. You gonna make it from there? I'm thinking probably not. We're gonna try though. Might lose the back wheel. Oh, point the camera. You got this, no problem. About to trip over something else over here. I'm not watching where I'm going. All right. Now, I think on that, I'll stop the, the filming part of it and I'll play out here a little bit by myself and we'll, uh, we'll probably, depending on where I'm at time-wise, we'll probably go directly to a goodbye vlog. I will show you guys when I how that lighting kit, but you got to get the pro scale module and stuff. Buy the buy the bigger kit. Don't mess around. It's got everything. You can keep adding stuff to it. Rock lights, bumper. You know, you got high and low beam uh, front light bars. It's just cool things, and you can control it with the app. All right. So I'm gonna give you a quick crash course on this lighting kit. This is all installed on the uh, Bronco. This is the pro scale um, lighting module. You get that whole kit, you get everything with it. The one difference is because I got the brushless motor, I have a pass through, a pass through that feeds it because the stock ESC that would be sitting here feeds it. So this is just, you can buy on Amazon, different places. So that's feeding the power from the battery. And um, that stuff falling everywhere around me here. So once you have this all hooked up and you when you plug it in, it'll default to wherever you left it. So this is just running light. And then you have a mode and a signal. The mode is for the lights, the signal is literally for the signals. So I switch modes. I get rock lights and headlights, everything, everything's lit. And then from there you use the app, which I'm using <laughs> the phone that has the app on it. So I can't show you that, but I using your controller with the Bluetooth link, Traxxas link thing attached there. And you can control high, low beams. There's all kinds of stuff you can do in there. I can turn rock lights on and off, all kinds of stuff. So I'll just go back to 
the running like mode and it turns everything off. And I can go back in the app and turn this back on, which is kind of cool. So these are just manual controls. But one thing you can't do from the app is control the signals. So I have it disabled. If I... Signals do not come on. So to activate them, they're deactivated now. You'll double tap the signal button and you'll see they'll do double flashes. Okay, now they're activated and they'll, they'll work. And then um, to deactivate them, double tap again and it'll go single flash. Now they're deactivated. And what's cool is you hit one press and you get your hazards. And then a, it does it at the back as well. All the stuff is going on back there too. And to uh, deactivate that, you just simply press it one more time and it goes out. Unfortunately, you don't have control of that with the, with the app. But by default, I have everything come on like that. And then uh, I use the app right quick before I take off and turn on and off whatever I want. This is default is just running lights. And um, anyway, uh, it'll remember this. So every time I plug it in, all this comes on. Of course, the rock lights are controlled through the power that's being supplied to the module, which it's not. So when I turn that off, it kicks it off. And the high beams go out, high and low beams. So it just becomes running lights at that point. So that's it. Well, hello there, YouTube. Oh, so, I'm out here while the wind's having a little bit of a break. It's still still blowing. It's blowing enough that the mist in the air is coming all the way across the porch and hitting us over here. There's some dog blankets sitting over here, and I go, the blankets are all wet. She goes, that's because it's mist is coming across. across the porch. Mm -hmm. But I uh, had a clip that I shot down in the service area down there. I was talking, well, I'll just talk about that again tomorrow talking about bmw and and uh <laughs> i was adding up to see where i was time wise here and i'm like mm. well that clip that i shot down there is uh me like walking away humming and then you see me head and see it heading from my pocket as i'm turning the turning the phone off i uh didn't hit the record button hit the record button when i thought i was hitting the stop record button i'm famous for doing that but Dang, it's windy out here. Mm -hmm. It was really whipping out here a while ago. Yeah. Good thing them generators are all ready to go. You never mm -hmm. know when you might need them. I know it. Them trees will come down. Yeah, I, don't, I haven't looked at the weather here, but I was getting a cup of coffee and the Portland news station was on there talking about snow tomorrow night and down to the valley floor. And I don't know. I'll have yeah. to look. <laughs> Snow and rain next week, too. I get those things, so, you know, on this day throughout the years. In 2017 or 18, it was pouring down snow out here. So. Yes. It was craziness. But anyway, let's get out of the wind. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Tuesday or Wednesday. All right. We'll see you then. See you again. <laughs> Thanks for watching, though. Bye-bye. <laughs>